Russia denied entry for wounded occupiers, some of them died. Russia has refused to let through trucks carrying wounded invaders which were trying to enter its territory from occupied Luhansk Oblast and some soldiers died due to a lack of medical care. General staff of the armed forces of Ukraine announced it. On the 17th of April, the enemy attempted to carry out a medical evacuation from temporarily occupied Luhansk Oblast towards the village of Urezovo, Belgorod Oblast. 14 trucks were used to transport the wounded occupiers. While attempting to cross the state border of Ukraine, the Russian side did not allow the military convoy to pass and turned it back. It is known that during this movement, some of the enemy soldiers did not survive due to a lack of proper medical care, General Staff said. The General Staff has clarified that after an unsuccessful attempt to enter the territory of the Russian Federation, more than 50 seriously wounded invaders were taken to a hospital set up at the Troitska Central District Hospital in Luhansk Oblast. Although there's disagreement on the number of Russians and Ukrainians who have lost their lives in Russia's genocidal war against Ukraine, there's general agreement that Ukrainian losses are about one third as many as Russian losses. The magnitude of Russian losses also has something to do with the way the war has been waged and the way wounded Russian and Ukrainian soldiers have been treated. Moreover, Russian soldiers are poorly motivated and equipped and thus presumably more vulnerable. Russians have also mostly been on the offensive during the war and attacking troops usually lose more men than defenders. One reason that has gone underreported is the way in which Russia and Ukraine treat their wounded. Ukrainian sources report that Russian soldiers have often abandoned their wounded comrades on the field of battle. It may be that Ukrainian fire was too intense, that their training was poor, or that they were too terrified or too callous to be concerned.